and my high pressure fuel pump went out so uh, looking at the Yamaha sites you're looking at anywhere from five to eight hundred dollars for a fuel pump for it so I'm looking at a, a on the aftermarket sites and I find a couple uh, one that came up a couple times was this Titan uh, and it fits several different models of the of the OX66 so but you can see the see the part number right there it has the filters I'll show you what's in the box here in just a minute but but we're going to replace this 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 pump here uh, now, this is about seventy dollars through Bay Bay Area Sports for but you got your comes with the your filter you got your attachment all your o-rings needed to, to go back into your uh, put it back in the tank your BSC tank But I'll show it assembled, show it all together, and then uh, I'll give a let you know how it how it uh, how it performs if it lasts. But uh, I'll update it in about a month uh, if it if it makes it a month. Uh, I'll let you know how it does. So anyway, that's that's what we're looking at. Appreciate you watching. Okay, I do want to show you a little something before I close this up when you're installing your your pump of course you will these are included with the new pump this is already included with your new pump the o-rings are already on it now this piece, this nylon piece here is on the old is on the old pump so it may it doesn't come with a new pump it may or may not be stuck where the where the bolts go through for your uh, terminals they may these nylon washers may be inside your uh, your VST upper housing so you want you want to get those out and put those on and then also your high pressure o-ring here your output o-ring possibly it a new one doesn't come with the pump so you can either get a new one purchase a new one or pull the new pull the the old one down check it make sure there's no cuts or, or anything in it and install it so uh, it does come with your filters everything to install the filter your bracket here is already in place and then you'll install the lower one uh, above the fuel filter when you start to install that so anyway I just thought I'd let you know uh, what to look for there and you can look on a look on a parts diagram and you can see these parts uh, and, and where they go anyway thank you